good morning everyone it's 5 a.m we're here at the airport we're ready to get this travel day started figure i film outside here before we have to put the face diapers on I swear this is like earlier and earlier every time well let's go check into our flight Stop number one, Dallas, Texas, on our way to our final destination of Boise. Boise. Why are we going to Boise? To watch fall colors. Fall colors. That's why we're going to Boise. I think it's a pretty underrated place to go. There's a lot of beauty, beauty to the state. I can't wait to show you it. So we have a three-hour layover here in Dallas. So kind of sucks but it is what it is we'll get there uh be landing there about three and then uh we've got a pretty cool st store we're gonna go check out so <sighs> let's get on the next flight You, you hungry? <laughs> well, hello everyone, welcome to Boise. We haven't even made it to the rental car yet and she's already eating berries off the trees. My God, woman, I don't even know what you're eating. All right, let's go check out our sweet chariot. Whew, it's so nice to get this freaking face diaper off. <sighs> All right, man. Don't judge me. I don't really get to pick. <sighs> yep. We got us a Toyota. Toyota. Oh, shit. Well, look at that trunk. Mm -hmm. Guess we can't go too wrong with this thing. So, it's, what did they say, 40 degrees? 42 or 45. 40, and it's... Not bad, I mean, it's chilly, and I'm a guy that don't like cold, but it's not, look at this, man. What the hell? All right, sorry, I used the perimeter key. Beep, 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 beep. That's what I hate about Toyota, that's stupid. But look at this, man. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? God, no. Dude, you're driving this morning. Again. Oh, God. People, come on, rental car people, man. Like, when you park these things, you need to put the seat back. 
Good God, man. Whew. Stinks. Yeah, it smells like a toilet. Oh my God, no way. Look. Look at that. It actually has, actually has a damn key. I was looking for the push button. I didn't think anything had a key anymore. Wow. All right, guys, we are going to REI. Miss it here. Let's try to find some shoes. Hiking shoes. Plus, it looks like it's a really cool store, so. Something? Yeah, I'm finding something. If you buy something more expensive than what I bought, you're in trouble. Whatever. Eating <laughs> though for you. That's what you bought. That's what you have. No, mine ain't purple. I'm just, I'm just saying Solomon for you. Yeah, Solomon. They look. They have a thing. Did you do with low on those inside? They do not have that much. Oh, try. Yeah, you can try practice mountain climbing. Mm. My socks. I want to see what these Patagonia puff jackets cost. I might freak out. Twenty-seven pairs later. Even twenty-seven. Right at five. Five? No, not even. What'd you buy? Five. Let's see what you got. Show everybody. Sexy shoes. I don't think they're sexy. She got her some hiking shoes. Came all the way to Idaho for some hiking shoes. Mission accomplished. All right, let's go check out the Airbnb. I think we might get some to eat. Red Robin. Yeah, somebody wants soup. So we're gonna try a cafe, cafe Zupa. Cause somebody somebody hooked on Panera bread, so this is like the closest thing to Panera bread that they have. So let's try this out. All right, so we got uh, some kind of sandwich. Chicken, chicken, chicken avocado. avocado. She got some type of lobster soup. Look, they give you a roll and a strawberry and a roll. Oh, I already said roll. <laughs> I got a creme brulee cheesecake, a chili uh, enchilada chicken, enchilada chili, and a brisket sandwich. And sorry if I'm talking loud, trying not to get copyright with the music they're playing on here. So far, so good. We'll let you know when we get done. So I bought this puff jacket because it compresses down to a little ball. And I've yet to try it out in anything cold. And it's getting chilly here, so let's try it out. Let's see if this thing's gonna keep me warm. Ah! All right, feels good. Okay. So, yes. Your impressions of uh, Cafe Zuka? Three stars. Three? Yeah. Three stars. I take one for the uh, bad desserts, the old. Another star for employee, not an unsanitary kind of condition. The hair, who the other girl look like she's stoned with hair hanging. And the uh, fridge doors weren't all closed. Could be cleaner. I mean, I don't know, the sandwich and the soup actually wasn't bad, but yeah, the dessert was a little, got the cheesecake that you saw, it was a little dry, there was like a film on it, which yeah. means it's been exposed to air for a while. Yeah, Alright, well I need my merino wool. 
<laughs> You're wearing your merino wool. I need my down, bottoms, my merino wool. Honey, I need my merino wool. Get we'll, your get, we'll get you. All right, we're, we, we, uh, our Airbnb has a kitchen, so we're going to go stop at Walmart and uh, stock up on a few things. Then we'll show you the uh, Airbnb. All right, I'm like in Idaho. Check out the speed limit. Check out the scenery too, this isn't bad. So I said, I think this place is a little underrated. It's very, it's, I mean, we haven't seen that much of it yet, but so far it's pretty. When we're in Boise, we're on our way to Twin Falls right now, but we're, when we were in Boise, uh, it was pretty. You're in the city, you see the mountain ranges in the uh, distance, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said before, it, the GoPro is hard to get anything off in the distance. You might be able to see that. Look like there's some snow on some mountains like way, way off there. Very pretty so far. Check this out. Idaho potatoes in Idaho are no freaking joke. Look at the freaking size of this. Look at it. These things are monstrous. This is not what they ship us and put in a bag that says Idaho potato. No way, man. This is the legit Idaho. Look, it's half of my hand. Wow. Compared to, this is like the yellow potatoes you buy at the store. Right? Even those are hot too. Yeah, seriously, dude. Wow. That's freaking insane. Good morning, everyone. Coming to you from our Airbnb. We are just outside of Twin Falls, Idaho. So I'm going to give you a little tour. Before I do, let me just explain something. You know, uh, I really like the Airbnbs. For me, for, for the money that you get, you're getting way more space. And, you know, you have your Airbnbs, like the last one we stayed at in Florida, which give you a nice place to stay. But then there's other Airbnbs like this that just give you the touches that you can never get in a hotel plus you know you don't have to worry about the check-in give me your credit card you, you do everything on the app um you know you don't have to worry about a parking lot full of cars that you know if you come in late it's hard to find a parking spot sometimes impossible and i've had several hotels with kids running either up above me or down the hallway or just people being loud so far, I mean, not saying it can't happen, but so far with the Airbnbs, it hasn't happened because it's been at houses and things like that. So uh, I just really love it, especially this one. This is on a 70 acre farm and I'll show you more later, but there's like a beautiful stream that runs or like a river, maybe you want to call it out there. Um, they have all kinds of animals. So they grow uh, like organic alfalfa and some other stuff it says. So I'm not 100% sure everything they grow right now. It doesn't look like much is growing. It's getting cold. But anyway, let's check it out. Oh, that's what I want to say. The family, the wife here is uh, first generation American. Her mom came here in the 50s from Switzerland, met her husband here. He was from Switzerland. So this is called the uh, Swiss theme cottage. So we have bedroom here it's a king size bed uh it's nice in the closet here there's a baby uh thing to keep babies in i don't even know what it's called because we never had uh crib i guess yeah and some extra blankets so we have all kinds of stuff here very nice we have the bathroom and i guess this is part of the swiss theme maybe the furniture I haven't been to Switzerland yet, but plan on it. 
this is what I'm talking about, the little touches here. Hand sanitizer, lotion, and look, cups. Even though I have my travel cup here, which I love. Look at that. But they give you some cups. Look, makeup remover, which I don't need, but this was provided. And then you have um, some soap here. Pretty nice. Now, here's a desk that's provided. Uh, some of this stuff is mine, but check this out. Tide pods, dryer sheets provided. Right, so you have a desk to work at, and then look at this. Your own washer and dryer. This you're not getting in a hotel. I mean, yeah, I know they got laundry mats, but... Uh, so check it out. Look how much room we have here. So I think this is part of the Swiss thing. It's like an antique. Uh, God, we can't even think of the name of the hutch or something. Uh, so we have a couch, a dead deer. Uh, got a chair, another. Oh, yeah, look at that. Swiss post or something. Can't read that. Looks like it's a mailbox. Probably a Swiss. And look, now the view out this window is not, uh, it is a working farm. So but the view there's, you know. But here we have like a, we have an antique radio. Pretty, a little, oh, that's a sewing machine. That must have been the sewing machine. That's a fireplace. I'm not sure if it works. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, and there, you might be able to see right there, you can see the stream that runs through here. And then get more. But uh, yeah, so you, if you want, there's a bed here. And there's a bed here. And then there's a treadmill. So there's a fireplace. Oh, that's definitely like an electric deal. That's what that is. So then, the view out his way is not bad at all. So if it was kind of warmer out, you see there's a little table and chairs underneath the tree. You can see some fall colors out there, maybe. And there's our, our Toyota. Nice big kitchen table here to eat at. Uh, so check this out. I have a toaster. Now we went shopping last night and I was going to get bagels, but I didn't know if they had a toaster. So they have a toaster or microwave. Check this out. It's all granite. And I'm sorry, usually I like to film this before we go mess it up with all our food stuff, but, you know, we flew in at 3 a.m. We got up at 3 a.m., and then we didn't get here till 9 o'clock at night, so we kind of went to bed. Now, check this out. We have a Keurig and K-Cups. Oh, I love it. But look, they gave us some sugar. We have matches or something, and there's some other stuff here, sweeteners. And then there's all kinds of teas. See, this is what I'm talking about. Not only is it just a place to stay, it's the little touches. The little touches. So there's <coughs> dishwashing stuff there, right? We have a dishwasher. Look at this. They have a thing of mashed potatoes, scrapers. And if anybody knows what this is, I would love to know because I have no idea. Even my wife doesn't know. But look, measuring cups. Cheese grater. Your wife's cooking. Some sausage. Look, a full oven, a, a real legit oven, stove, a refrigerator, and then check this out, this, this goes to what I'm saying, the extra touches, look, they gave us bagels, there's chips, there's already a couple protein bars, which I macked out on, some tangelos, what are these, honey, tangerine, tangerine, huh? Mandarins. Here's the chef. They have, you know what else they have? Nice in Idaho. It's different from ours. Come over here. Oh. And look, this is what they did for us too. Look, they left us. This was brand new unopened whipped mixed berry cream cheese. Ah, that's amazing. Look over here. And then, check this out. Look. Oops. They are whipping cream, look. 
What? It stays like that. It doesn't run. See that? How does that fit? I don't know. It's heavy, not expired. Heavy whipping cream. That's it's the same as I. Oh, did you I get did. it home? Yeah. I was more liquid. Look at that. Maybe it is spoiled. Mm. It's not spoiled. It's very delicious. What the heck? Why would that be different here? I don't know because they have different cows. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, they, they cows produce more heavy fat milk. Oh yeah, knives, everything. So. I'm absolutely blown blown away with this Airbnb. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, yeah, we're moving to Idaho. Because of an Airbnb? No, because I don't have a space. Oh. Four seasons. I don't want four seasons. I like one. Summer. Well, I want that heavy whipped cream. Yep. I'm not moving because of heavy whipped cream. Yeah, I will. Oh, yeah. Well, we, so we have a butcher's block. You have utensils. Look at this aluminum foil. That's theirs. Scotch uh, saran wrap. Little measuring cups. Yeah, I mean, it's the little things like this. You'll never get like this much room in a hotel. You you can't cook, so that's another thing. We're saving a bunch of money by having a kitchenette. We stopped at Walmart. Well, you saw that we stopped at Walmart. Got some groceries. So now we can cook here. We're saving money by not eating out. It's... Yeah, I know we're still going to eat out, but we don't have to eat out as much. Ding dong. That's in Boise. All right, everyone. So this is the uh, tour to Air Airbnb. Let me know what you think. Working on the video and I forgot. Look, shampoo, conditioner, even shower gel, and then there's another thing down there. They have absolutely everything you need. You can just walk in here. There's extra towels provided. Uh, I thought we were running low on toilet paper. I sent them a message. I said, "Hey, might be some back here in the uh, laundry room," and there was. Uh, we had a pot. Like we bought those potatoes to make mashed potatoes with. It looked like somebody burned something at the bottom. I don't know there was something there. I asked her if we can, uh, if there's another pot we can use. Man, they left us like two more pots and another frying pan. Absolutely fantastic couple here. Lynn and Dorrit, uh, thank you very much for allowing us to stay here and enjoy your, your home and your property here. Uh, we haven't finished our stay yet. Uh, we still want to check out the property, but so far, this has been absolutely fantastic. Absolutely just love this place. I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you happen to be in the Twin Falls area and you're looking for a very nice Airbnb, I highly recommend this place, this couple. It's been absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. That way, um, I think when people watch videos of like locations they just kind of want to see the location not so much like the travel there or the airbnb part but i know i got my viewers that love the vlogs and love seeing the, the to and from so yeah it's hard to kind of pin down what everybody wants to watch but i'm going to make the rest of the videos just purely on the destinations here in twin falls and then i'll do uh some in Boise and you know other parts of Idaho that we go to because we have some state forests and parks and some attractions some pretty cool places that we're going to go check out so I hope you subscribe and join us for those adventures like shares comments appreciated and uh, hopefully we'll see you for more Idaho thanks for watching <music>